What's up, guys? It's love friends. We're back with another movie review. I'm with my boy Clinton, and we just saw Midsummer. What the heck just happened? That's the summer. Yeah, it's a group of friends, and they go visit a village. A, they go, they go, they go visit Sweden. a village in Sweden that yeah. their fr that their Swedish friend invites them to. And yeah, you want to give your opinion about it first? Uh. I am baffled. It's a horror movie, but it does it right. It's not just jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. That's like a tongue twister. Um, it's not just jump scares. It's just like one, and that's mainly. And he scared me more than the jump scare. But it just—it's suspense. It's atmosphere. That's what makes a good yeah, horror like, movie, and oh. that, they did that really well. Because you're always wondering what's gonna happen next. Yeah, the what's whole entire movie next? has you like have, you're about to have an anxiety attack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just suspense the whole entire time. You like, bruh, it There's, doesn't end till the movie ends. <laughs> yeah, and you know anything could happen because they show off some gruesome scenes like um, right off the bat. Anything could happen, and it does happen. Oh yeah, anything. You mean anything? Some weird stuff happens, but it just adds to the overall suspense. Because you, cause you see one thing and you're wondering how much worse can it get and it gets worse each time in a good way. I think you should take the kids to see this movie. <laughs> Don't take the kids. Traumatize Don't even kids. take your older, uh, older people. This movie is... If you have a light stomach, I, I wouldn't recommend it. No, like, not at all. Because I almost was about to throw up after one thing. I kind of was kind of... Yeah. I, thought, I, think, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I kind of liked it. You're weird. <laughs> In terms of the movie, it was really well done. <laughs> but <laughs> I like all that acting and the stuff. All the people did act. And I didn't really care for the main character. She did good and stuff. But I just yeah. didn't like her as a person in general. Not the actress, just the, the character, character itself. I didn't like the character. The character was just I don't know, just the character was bad. But she did a well, well, good, really good job of portraying that character. Yeah, like it's just one of those annoying people. Like I understand, but just. Cr person just cried a lot okay like i mean she had really yes, good reasons. yeah reasons but like still just uh it kind of annoyed me but i like all I, I like all the characters i like eyebrow guy eyebrow guy yeah i forgot uh, his name mark mark with the eyebrows yeah but and then all the sweeter people i'm pretty sure they wasn't even actors i'm pretty sure this is uh this was real, an actual cult yeah, yeah this is an actual cult i'm pretty sure it was <laughs> And this sweet I like the cinematography for this movie as well. Oh yeah, a lot, and it, it does a lot of like single frame shots where everything happen, where they keep the sh the camera still, and everything happens in that frame. Like at one point, you see the, instead of panning to a character, you see the reflection. So the, it just you, you just see it from like their perspective almost. Yeah, that's very clever with how they did that too. And I like, like he said, it's not like a horror movie where it's just a jump scares and stuff like that. It's like, it's a really different type of horror movie. It's not like slasher at all, really. No. It's not, mm -mm, it's not. Because unlike a slasher, there's no concrete, like, this is part, this person is the murderer. Yeah, this movie, you're just like, sitting there suspense, during the whole entire time. You don't even know what's going on because at the end of, when we, me and him finished the movie, we were just sitting there like, what did we watch? <laughs> <laughs> I, we still don't really comprehend what we really watch. Yeah, it was really <laughs> confusing, and there's some elements I'm I'm just not even sure. Like me, he's probably gonna uh, research this stuff afterwards because like we're intrigued and confused, and we're like, I don't want to go to Sweden ever now. I still want to go. Oh, <laughs> <seen some> <laughs> oh. but yeah, I don't really know what to say. I recommend you to see it if you want to see something disturbing and something you'll talk to your friends about. You want to see a horror movie that's actually well done and not jump scares, not filled with jump scares? This is a really good movie to watch for that. Also, they're gonna for DVD they're gonna release an NC-17 version with 30 minutes of extra clips, unrated. So it's gonna even get crazier. Wait, 30 minutes? Uh, extra. Oh, we're watching that. Yeah, and we're, we'll review that too. Yeah, we'll oh, review yeah. that too. And yeah. I don't know what else to say. If you've seen the vi video, I mean movie, drop it down below and like, comment, subscribe. And it is a rather long movie, so be yeah. prepared, but it's worth the whole movie. It's yeah. worth the whole Peace out. Time.